and um it does not have any filtration i've never seen the esc like this i mean the only filtration is the 470 back here Hi guys and welcome back. So today we have the Eoshin Tyro 99 and this was requested quite a bit actually along with the Hobbywing X Rotor uh, stack. So let's quickly talk about this. Now this is a $99 DIY FPV racing drone build uh, from Eoshin, also from Banggood. So let's get started here. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a quick overview of the components and in a later video we're going to be testing each component here for you know camera for latency esc for noise and all these kinds of crazy cool things so there's a lot of build videos out there if you guys want me to do a quick build video of this let me know but um i really want to test the components the overall components within this uh, kit here so let's get started so first of all you get some props here and then something to take note of while we're taking a look at this is that i have never been able to come up with a hundred dollar build that was decent and which is it's till this day it's still pretty hard i'm waiting for some prices to go down on specific things so we can actually get a nice hundred dollar build so it's pretty crazy that they've done this so first of all we get 50 38 props here and these props i've tested these before they were not great at all um so i would highly recommend you get different props first of all this is something that uh, we're just really drop dead slow. It's like running a low KV motor on a 4S setup. That's how they felt to me. And they're not very durable as well, but I mean, what do you expect for a hundred bucks? They also give you this nice little can opener keychain, uh, AK-47 keychain thingy. So that's pretty cool, but um, I wouldn't want carbon next to my mouth here. So I wouldn't want to inhale it while I open a can, but yeah, it's really nice. Um, keychain that'll mess up your phone all right so what else do we have we have some more carbon fiber components or tools we should say and we have some sticky pads and battery pads and what is this some more we have some heat shrink so it's, it's really actually they provide a lot of things these are the screws for the frame and these are the screws for the camera they give you three so that's really nice try not to lose these because if you lose these uh it's, it's gonna be a pain you're gonna have to buy some m2 screws to actually fit the camera uh that are very small in length so we have all the hardware here. Here's another part of the uh, frame. We also get a battery strap, which is really nice. It's a, it's a pretty good battery strap. I really like these. Zip ties, um, some wires for everything. We have an MMCX to RP SMA, I think. And what's in here? So here's the other carbon fiber components and they do give you a pretty nice antenna actually. So that's really nice. Now let's take a look at the good part here. Let's actually get these out first. All right, so these are the main components and these are what will really dictate how your quad's gonna fly, obviously other than the frame. Now the frame that they're using is basically the Hippo frame from Real ACC, and it's a pretty decent flying frame. It's, there's nothing bad about it, it's, it's overall pretty good. So let's get started here. So we do get these motors here and they do provide you with the um, uh, counterclockwise, two counterclockwise motors and two clockwise motors. This way so the, the, the prop nuts don't undo themselves while you're flying. Now the rating here is 2205-2150 KV or 2206-2150 KV. I don't know why they went with such a low KV here. Maybe, you know, probably be able to take a 5S setup. I don't know if this whole thing can take a 5S setup, but probably with a 5S setup, you'll have a really good time. But out of the box, I can tell you immediately, uh, this thing is going to be very sluggish. And why do I say that? Well, the props are 50-38, so it's a 38 pitch. They're five inch props. But the second two numbers are the pitch and usually we're flying anywhere between 45 to 50 sometimes even 43 or 42s but 38 is a very small pitch thus giving you a lot less speed and uh, especially with a lower kv such as this i mean if these were 2700 kv that'll be okay but it'll be very slow and sluggish so take that into consideration i'd highly recommend you upgrade to like at least a 50 50 type prop like a 50 50 tri-blade or a 50 46 but a 50 50 will give you somewhat of a better speed uh, or, or just better performance now the, mo the, the the motors are a bit low kv here so take that into consideration um so far they seem pretty good i don't think there's any play yeah they're they're, they're actually really nice they look like they're really good construction quality I think there was a little dirt in there so sounds good so far but there's only so much I can do with this right here they look okay all right let's take a look at this so people have noted the cameras the camera was pretty bad at the um, 
low, just the light transitions and the exposure setups. So you might also have to replace this. I truly believe, I think this is a CMOS camera, but not a very good CMOS camera. They should have gone ahead and went with like a CCD 600 TVL line here, but I will test its latency and uh, I'm not gonna be testing the quality. I'm not a camera testing quality type of guy, but we can test its latency. I do have a lot of cameras lined up for latency testing and I can throw this guy in with that as well. VTX seems pretty good, pretty minimal. Uh, what do we have here? It does have an audio, so it should have a microphone somewhere here, possibly. No, it doesn't. So it does take audio input. It takes a video. Uh, it does have a 5 volt. So it has a 5 volt regulator on board for your camera. And uh, we have two grounds and it takes 7 to 24 volts. So this should take a 5S LiPo just fine, especially if we're powering it from the battery uh, voltage. So that's really good to see here. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and check out this ESC here. Now, this is a 4 and 1 30 amp ESC rated up to a 5S input. So you can put up to a 5S LiPo here and um, it does not have any filtration. I've never seen an ESC like this. I mean, the only filtration is the 470 back here. So they do at least provide you with a 25 volt, 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor, which I highly would recommend you possibly switch out to a thousand microfarads, uh, but we will test this in a later video along with the flight controller. So I will do some noise testing on this guy. So I've, I've, I've never seen an ESC like this before. I mean, there's so much real estate that it's just insane. Um, but, you know, you never know. It might test pretty good. But, you know, the, the thing is, is they should have provided you with some type of very clean ESC. And why do I say that here? I mean, it's always good to have very clean ESCs. But with a flight controller like this one, it's a must. And what do you, well, what do you mean? Well, this has a sensitive gyro, believe it or not. So this can cause a bit of issues for some people if there's some sort of a lot of noise. Hopefully it's been tested. I've seen a couple people fly it and they seem to have pretty decent results. Hopefully not with hours of filtration, but we will see how well this is gonna stack up as well. I'll build it and fly it. Now the flight controller here looks pretty nice. Um, looks pretty good. It's ICM gyro, does have OSD, it has most of the features you really want from a flight controller. But um, I'm just really surprised at their choice of components here. Uh, low KV, small pitch, ICM gyro, and no filtration. So this is this is really crazy. I mean, this is why, I mean, I don't know, for $100, I'm really curious to see how this thing is actually going to fly. I don't know if I'll make a build video, so I just build it really quickly and go take it out for a flight um, and see how well this whole thing performs. But overall, um, it's possibly a pretty good kit. I mean, from what I've seen online, I can't really say much just yet until actually I go out and test it. But theoretically, um, this seems like a weird combo for me personally. Uh, probably a weird combo for others as well. But for me personally, this seems a bit strange. But it's a nice little kit, DIY kit. And I highly recommend you switch out your props, your camera, as well as... Uh, probably fly it with a 5s now i don't know if this will handle a 5s just fine so you might need to upgrade the, the capacitors here but anyways we're going to be testing each component uh, in the upcoming videos and seeing how well this whole kit actually is for 99 bucks so they do provide you a lot of things for 99 dollars it's a really nice starting point or just you know just learning point in a way it, it just opens up the door for you and then later on you can just switch out your motors the next thing you know you switched out your performance but I'd highly recommend actually to start with two things. Uh, first of all, you're, you're going to be totally fine if you're new, if, if it flies pretty good. Uh, but one thing that's going to be really annoying for you is the camera. I'd highly recommend you switch out the camera. I'll leave a link to a really good camera that's like 17 bucks down below, which I use on all my quads. So I put a link to a nice camera below and, um, and well, that's it guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video the testing of this whole kit will be upcoming soon let me know if you guys want to see a build video i'll do a quick 10 minute build detailed video i'll try to do like a very quick build video for this and um let me know what you guys want to see if you guys don't want to see the build video then i'll just build it take it out for a flight after the testing and well that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys have any questions or any comments please let me know down in the comment section and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And everything is linked down below. If you could use those, those greatly support the channel. And I will see you next time. See you guys.